Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, Pisces, what's going on? Long time no see. It's time for your monthly reading, Pisces. What do you think about that? Let's do it. Let's dive right in here. Woo, look at these cards. They just want to just talk about Pisces today. Let's just jump right in and see what they have to say. Give me a chance to channel. I'll lay them all out. I will confuse the heck out of you for a good minute, and I'll sew together a story that I'll read from top to bottom. All right, let's do it. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have Pisces with me. Spirit in Pisces wants to know what you know. What do you know about the Pisces and what does the Pisces need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and pull straight from the top. Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. All right, let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck is Five of Pentacles, the Tower, the Seven of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Empress to the Seven of Pentacles. Interesting. That'll make hella sense to us in just a minute. These cards are supposed to all be read in the upright, by the way. And then the clarifying cards will be, you know, like usual. All right. Ooh, Ace of Wands, Passion Ignited. The Two of Wands, the future, the waiting game, obstacles and challenges with the Five of Wands. So we got all kinds of fire going on in this whole top row right here. Interesting. Mental conflict with the Two of Swords. Prosperity begins with the Ace of Pentacles. Rejoice in celebration with the Three of Cups. Destiny with the Wheel of Fortune. Moving on with the Six of Swords and Emotional Loss with the Five of Cups. All right. New Love begins with the Ace of Cups and the Magician and the Chariot. Look at that. The Six of Pentacles, fantastic. The Four of Wands, wow. And the Hierophant with Wisdom. The Two of Pentacles, and the star. Wow. Partnerships and alliances. I can't make this up. Material harvest. We'll find a stopping point. Spiritual union. Positive movement forward. And then, okay, then we got the moon, which goes back to these problems up here, right? Shadow and truth. Okay. All right. Let's make some sense out of all this. This is crazy, Pisces. Let's see. All right. So the Ace of Wands, first card out. What is this about? This passion ignited the Ace of Wands. New opportunity. Five of Pentacles. Okay. Interesting. To the waiting game with the Two of Wands for the future. So passion ignited the future. Obstacles and challenges. What are the obstacles and challenges about? Oh, look at that. We got a tower. Okay. All right, Pisces, this is what's going on, okay? All right, so there is an offer, an offer, an opportunity that is going to present itself to you, Pisces. And the Knight of Cups comes on top of it and talks about it being an emotional offer, okay? So a new offer, a new emotional offer is going to come into your life, okay? What's the problem? Well, the Two of Wands, your future. This card in this deck is called the Waiting Game, okay? You are delaying this from happening in your life because there is obstacles in the way. Your own personal obstacles are in the way, okay? They need you to take a step back, reevaluate the situation, and come out on the other side with a new perspective, okay? Because you are, you're holding up the program here. Six of Wands in reverse. You can't have success in this situation if you enter into it as you are right now. There's something in your mental that needs to change so you are in a position to make this 
opportunity work. Okay, what's the problem? Temperance in reverse, you imbalance. Somewhere inside of yourself, you do not have peace in a certain aspect of your makeup. Maybe there's no peace in your mind, in your emotions, in your sense of well-being, in your desires. Okay, but somewhere in you there is not a, a, a peace that you need to have in order to make this thing over here successful in your life. Okay? What are the obstacles and challenges? Well, the Six of Pentacles. Giving, receiving, sharing in the prosperity of life. The Five of Pentacles. Um, broke. Uh, insecure, kicked out, left out, kicked someone out, the tower, some kind of huge implosion, okay? All of this is what needs to be cleared out in order for you to be able to benefit from this situation. What needs to be cleared out, the Ten of Swords, some kind of terrible mindset, terrible mindset needs to come to an end. This terrible mindset that is all about this tower, that's all about this insecurity of some sort, that's all about I used to have it but I don't anymore. This is the obstacles and challenges that is preventing this opportunity from manifesting in your life. Mm -hmm. It's right there. It's right there on the other side of the bubble. It's right there. But it can't come through, right? It can't it can't manifest into your life because some kind of mindset is blocking it. Wheel of Fortune in reverse blocking it. It's a blockage. We can't do what we need to do because you're not in a position to accept or support the weight of what it is that we want to do. And therefore, we can do nothing. Therefore, it just is. And I mean, it could be eternity. Pisces just walks around in this mentality and this could have always been yours to begin with, but you can't have it because you can't function in it, okay? Mental conflict. What's that mental conflict? That's that blockage right there, right? All kinds of mental baggage. Knight of Swords in reverse, possibly about lying, cheating, and stealing. But mostly this Knight of Swords in reverse is about um, you not being responsible with the actions of your mind. Okay? Eight of Wands says it needs to change. The second your mindset changes, the second this Wheel of Fortune flips in the upright, the second this whole thing comes pouring into your life. Five of Swords, what do you have to change? This white knuckle grip on a win at all costs mentality, whatever that is in that Ten of Swords right there for you is what needs to be cleaned up and cleared out of your mind so you can participate in what truly belongs to you. Okay? All right. Prosperity begins with the Ace of Pentacles. The way to create your brand new prosperity, the way to create a new, the way to till up the ground for this opportunity to manifest in your life, the moon, is to come to terms with a big, deep, huge, gigantic internal struggle that you're having. Pisces, by the way. Cancer too, but Pisces. We're talking Pisces, right? The only way for this new prosperity in your life to take root, okay, is for you to stop struggling inside of yourself with what happened, with what happened. Uh-huh. And come to terms with it the Empress, and take control of your life and begin to manifest your reality according to where your intuition is telling you to go. Mm -hmm. Take charge. Step into your power. They need you to be the Empress, Three of Cups, clarified by the Three of Cups, so you can engage with this meeting when it happens. The Three of Cups to the Three of Cups. Um, I got to say, uh, holiday season coming up, holidays, right? I think you're going to meet someone. I do. I think there's going to be a, a either a romantic opportunity or some kind of business opportunity. And you're going to meet someone in the near future that you will kibosh if you don't clear up this muddy water that you still got 
floating around inside of your mind from some kind of bad situation from your past, okay? Stand in your power. Focus your attention onto your intuition, okay? And follow it. Someone invites you to a party and your guts say, man, you should go to that party. But your mind is like, nope, 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 nope. I'm all stuck in this mental bullshit up here. No, 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 not going to a party. Don't want to interact. Don't want to be around people. You should go. Check with your deepness. Check with your, check with your soul, and it will lead you and guide you in the direction of your best and highest good every single time. And they need you to focus, Pisces, to the Ten of Trump. This is the Wheel of Fortune. This is your destiny. Your destiny is being laid before you, but you're not going to be able to see it because you're not living in the reality where it can be created. Because the real estate is all occupied by all some kind of mental baggage from your past. To the Page of Swords, there's an offer that's coming. There's communication. There's a message. There is a conversation that's going to start. And the Six of Swords, you need to move on from the mental baggage of your past. The Four of Pentacles in reverse, maybe from your insecurities about yourself. This is insecurity in the sense of well-being. Maybe you don't like the way you look. Maybe you're, you're uncomfortable with, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe you don't fit in somehow. Maybe you just don't fit in somehow. And because of that, you would just rather not engage. Perhaps you're an introvert, right? Like me, I'm an introvert. And you just don't want to engage. And the Three of Cups is like, oh, I don't want to do that. Anything but that, right? Right? But you got to leave that behind and you have to engage in this. And I, again, I strongly feel like this is coming over the holidays. Okay? Five of Wands in reverse talks about an increased focus on your goals. What's that? Moving on from the mental that is standing in the way of you having a really significant opportunity to meet someone. Emotional loss with the Five of Cups and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Nothing can grow here. Nothing can grow with the woundings that you're still licking from your past. Nothing can grow here. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. To the Hierophant in reverse, perhaps divorce is what happened, and you're just not feeling festive. Um, but there is something in the Hierophant in reverse says you need to take inventory of your belief system because the foundation by which you are standing can't bear the weight of what the universe wants to bring into your life. And they need you to clean some house. I keep saying that over and over again, but it's just, it's all over this reading, right? Why? Ace of Cups. They need you to emotionally mature from this situation so you can be in a position to appropriately emotionally engage when this offer comes your way. Judgment, right? Make a decision to end this, dig into this, find out why this is. Whatever this is, you are letting it have a lot more power over your life than it deserves. When it went down in the day when it happened, sure, Sure, but now it has power over your present, which is preventing your future. So let go of that, okay? Judgment. Have the confidence to make a really important decision about overcoming all of those obstacles right there. The magician. So you can manifest. So this can manifest into your life. Because this is blocking it right there. So it can manifest clarified by the magician. But it's interesting that this card is called awareness. Because that's what this is trying to get you to do. Is to be aware that you got some bullshit circulating in your mind. That's standing in your way of everything that you want. Of your destiny. Mm -hmm. True. Stand in your power as the Empress. Flip this Wheel of Fortune in the upright and watch the universe roll out for you your heart's desires. Yep, yep, yep. Triumph. Yeah, triumph over this. Take a step back. Do what you got to do. And let the universe escort you to where you need to go. Mm -hmm. Material and spiritual possibilities. Prosperity with the Six of Pentacles, Foundations and Achievements with the Four of Wands, and Commitment with the Hierophant and Wisdom.
I mean, what else do you want here, Pisces, right? Love begins, destiny, uh, the empress, the beautiful relationship in the future, material and spiritual prosperity, foundations and achievements, and commitment, marriage or something, with the Hierophant right there. The Two of Pentacles, this is balancing and prioritizing. Balance and prioritize what we've talked about here. The star. This is your path. This is your purpose. This is the direction of your life. This is where the universe wants to take you. Partnerships and alliances with the Three of Wands. Material harvest with the Nine of Pentacles. Independent, right? Taking control of the situation. Bringing a culmination to everything and standing in your power brings you into spiritual union with someone, Pisces. I mean, for real. Change, 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 change. This big, deep, emotional struggle that you are having that's holding you back from everything. Bring it to a close, shut it down, and step forward into your truth with judgment. Into your truth, your truth, Pisces. The truth is that, yes, this happened. Yes, it was bad. Yes, it was terrible. But it's, it's not anymore. It's not happening now. And if it is happening now, you have absolutely no business trying to meet someone. So I know for a fact that this is for someone where this has already happened. Okay? It's, it's, it, it's in the grand scheme of things, in the linear perspective of a soul understanding. The ancient soul from back there and the same soul that's going to pick up over there is the same soul that is inside of you right now. And trust me, when all of this is over, this silliness that you are lamenting about up here in this corner pocket of this reading is not going to make a hill of beans to your soul ascension. This relationship has something to do with your destiny, Pisces. It has something to do with your destiny. So pull it together, clean it up, and... Let's step into the future. Patience and planning with the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is, this is, about, this is about taking a step back and reevaluating how you're going about doing things. Look to the Empress again. Fertility, sowing up the ground of your life so you can plant the seeds that, that, that the universe wants you to harvest. It's always in your best and highest good. Point your mind towards your intuition and you cannot fail. Recognition and reward. That's exactly what I just said, right? You can't fail. You will be recognized and rewarded for your conscious human ability to connect with your soul because it will lead you in the path of your best and highest good. It knows what you're supposed to be doing here and who you're supposed to be doing it with and for how long you're supposed to be doing it. Okay? Seven of, of uh, swords. This is uh, deception, envy, betrayal, deceit. Five of Pentacles left out in the cold and the tower. Disruption. Same bullshit as right here. This stuff is blocking your beautiful future. Shut it down. Step over it and carry on. Hope that helps someone. Namaste.